Hi everyone, Succulents Box here. Today we're going to show you how to take care of an ultra rare trailing succulent called String of Turtles. The String of Turtles is an easy to grow semi-succulent plant. It is capable of adapting to a range of growing conditions and has a relatively slow growth rate, making it the perfect plant not only for beginners, but also for someone who doesn't have much space at home. However, since this succulent is also considered a tropical plant, its care needs are quite different than what most succulents require. So if you want your string of turtles to stay happy and healthy for years to come, make sure to stick around until the end of this video as we will share everything you need to know to grow this amazing plant. How much light does string of turtles need? The string of turtles is quite adaptable when it comes to light exposure. It can tolerate medium to bright indirect light exposure, but if you want to see it grow to its full potential, place it in a spot where it can get bright indirect sunlight like near a south facing windowsill. Make sure to never expose your little turtles to full direct sunlight for more than an hour as this will cause sunburn damage to their leaves. Soil Requirements Since the string of turtles is a combination of succulent and tropical plant, its soil must be relatively acidic. The best way to achieve this is by creating your own mixture and using succulent soil, then mixing it with organic matter like peat, coir, or compost, and about half as much of inorganic matter such as bits of pumice, gravel, and crushed granite. Using a pre-made cactus and succulent potting mix is recommended as well, just make sure it doesn't get compacted over time. Repotting. String of turtles doesn't actually need to be repotted very often, as it'll be years before it reaches full maturity and outgrows its pot. We do highly recommend that you repot this plant at least once a year at the beginning of its growing season to give it fresh soil and fertilizer. In the process of repotting your little turtles, it is best to check their roots as well. This way you'll be able to determine whether your plant already needs to be transplanted to a bigger pot. Keep in mind that a pot should be 10% larger in volume than your string of turtles. Preferred environment. Compared to most succulents, the string of turtles prefers cooler temperatures. It may start to wilt if kept in a place with a temperature lower than 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's crucial to make sure that your temperature in your home is kept between 68 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. When it comes to humidity, since String of Turtles is native to the moist rainforest floor, it is best to keep the humidity level at a minimum of 40% and avoid any water residue on the leaves. Consider running a humidifier nearby on a low setting to keep a constant, stable humidity, especially during the winter months, dry seasons, or whenever you turn on your heater. When it comes to watering, you need to make sure your string of turtles is getting enough water to stay healthy. Keep in mind that over and under watering will both lead to a problem like having root rot, losing its leaves pattern, discoloration, or even pest infestation. So to avoid this from happening, it's highly recommended to only water this succulent every two to three weeks or whenever the top two inches of soil feels dry. Also, try using the bottom watering method as this will help you ensure that your plant will stay hydrated and at the same time only absorb the water it needs. You can do this by simply placing your turtles in a vessel filled with water for 10 minutes. Just make sure to allow all the excess water to drain before placing it back in its spot. Fertilizer isn't really a requirement when growing string of turtles. However, feeding them with a traditional houseplant fertilizer diluted in a 50-50 mixture at least once every two to three weeks from spring to summer will help maintain the leaves bright, shiny vigor and patterns. You may also use a flowering fertilizer to encourage your turtles to produce flowers. Just make sure to dilute it first with a 50-50 mixture of fertilizer and water before application. And remember to stop feeding during its off seasons, which is from fall all through winter. String of turtles can easily be propagated through cuttings. Start by snipping off a healthy section of the mother plant using sharp, clean scissors. Then lay the entire cutting on top of your potting mix and make sure the nodes are somewhat nestled into it. Once done, place your cuttings in a spot with bright, indirect light and remember to keep the top of the soil lightly moist by misting it. Normally, string of turtles doesn't need to be pruned. However, if you see any unruly and leggy strands, dying or dead strands, you can cut them off using pr your pruning tools. Just make sure not to prune more than one third of the plant at once. And remember to save healthy strands for propagation. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and we'll see you again in our next video.
For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.